大家好，这里是听广播学英语频道。今天我们来听听就业方面的话题。美国就业报告显示，劳动力市场降温，工资增长放缓。医疗保健行业增加了就业机会，移民增加了美国出生的受教育程度较低的工人的工资。接下来我们来听广播吧。This is the indicator from Planet Money. I'm Darian Woods. I'm Waylon Wong, and I'm Adrian Ma, and it's Jobs Friday. Oh yeah! Woo! T G I J F. <laughs> yes, it's Jobs Friday when we reach into the latest jobs report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the BLS, and we find insights into how the U.S. economy is working for regular people. So we've got the jobs numbers, and the economy added 175,000 new jobs last month. Now this is much lower than expected. The unemployment rate ticked up a tenth of a percent to 3.9 percent, and wage growth was also slower than expected. All of it points to a cooling in the labor market. But if you look at the job situation from a macroeconomic angle, especially from the inflation reduction side of things. This could actually have some good news. Yeah. So instead of the the normal Jobs Friday air horn, you know, pew pew pew. Today on the show, we're going to explain why, and we'll also have some other indicators that explain what's going on in the U.S. jobs market right now. Okay. So to start things off for Jobs Friday,、uh, one indicator that I think is really important to pay attention to in today's jobs report is the average hourly wage. So the average hourly wage for all workers rose 0.2 percent last month. Analysts were expecting maybe 0.3, maybe 0.4. 0.2 was a lot lower than they were expecting. And for the average hourly worker, this might not feel like great news. Yeah, like is anyone really going to clock a 0.2 percent raise in their <laughs>、right. like a 0.2 percent bump in their paycheck, especially、Woo-hoo! with inflation the way it is? Right, like who's writing a thank you note to their boss for the 0.2 percent raise? But From a bird's eye point of view, this may be a positive sign for the overall economy because, well, remember for a while now we've been in this historically tight labor market. The unemployment rate has been hovering around historic lows, and there just hasn't been enough of those workers out seeking jobs to fill all the available job openings. And so this has caused employers to raise wages to try and attract more of those workers, which was good for those workers, but may have also prolonged. Inflation, right? And all of this has made the Federal Reserve reluctant to cut interest rates. And interest rates are their own form of economic pain, right? They make borrowing more expensive. And so now, what we see with this latest jobs report is signs that the labor market activity is still very healthy, but just cooling down a bit. And it's a sign that the Federal Reserve may finally decide it's time to cut interest rates sometime soon. And if they decide to bring down interest rates, and if inflation ticks down a bit more, and the job market stays on course, well, soft landing. We're back to just obsessing over the soft landing again, aren't we? Bingo! Or a new metaphor I saw a lot on social media among economists this morning: a Goldilocks report. Not too hot, not too cool. And also a home invader. I think I saw that too, but I, and it makes me wonder: like, did they read all the way to the end of the Goldilocks story? Because.、Uh, It Or even the beginning、well. of it, Goldilocks <laughs> is not a good person. <laughs> well, it was good for while the porridge lasted. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so even though job growth overall slowed down last month, there were some hot spots in the labor market. That's what you're talking about, Waylon, right? That's right. So for my Jobs Friday indicator, I want to focus on one industry that's been adding jobs like gangbusters, and that is healthcare. In April, the healthcare sector added 56,000 jobs, and this continues a trend we've seen, where the number of people employed in healthcare has risen for the last four years. As of this latest jobs report, it's over 17 million people, and that's six and a half percent higher than pre-pandemic levels. Yeah, I mean we've seen a lot of the growth over the last year attributed to healthcare. For sure, it's been one of the biggest sources of new jobs. And what's interesting to note here is that this job growth doesn't just reflect. The ongoing recovery from the pandemic. There are longer-term dynamics at play here that could mean the sector keeps growing. In fact, the BLS projects that healthcare and social assistance will create almost half of all the job gains between 2022 and 2032. 
that's a decent chunk. And and we've covered some of these dynamics on the show before, that we have an aging population. That means people are retiring in large numbers. And also this aging population, of course, requires more health care. Yeah, and this is where it's important to look more closely at the jobs numbers for health care. Like if you zoom in on how many people work at elderly care facilities, that number is still below 2019 levels. And that's not because there aren't enough jobs out there. It's because they can't find enough workers to fill those jobs. So we could be seeing gaps in care, even with strong overall job gains in healthcare. Yep, that's right. Well, one possible answer that's often brought up in this conundrum is immigration, which is what I have been finding most interesting about today's jobs report. The share of foreign-born workers has recently been hitting new highs for the century. In the year 2000, you had about one in eight workers in the U.S. being foreign-born. But the numbers accompanying today's jobs report show that it's closer now to one in five. And I guess this is, like, partly why immigration is a pretty hot topic in this year's election. Like, almost too hot to handle. It is. And a genuine question that a lot of people have is, does immigration lower wages for native-born workers? Right, because if you've got a lot of competition for jobs, the kind of intuitive thing is that maybe that leads to lower wages across the board. Yeah, and that's one part of the equation. Uh, But of course, on the other side, you've got immigrants buying stuff, and that means businesses might hire more. Also, immigrants bring skills, which can allow businesses to expand, and that also might mean more hiring and higher pay. So theoretically, it could go either way. Immigrants might or might not decrease wages. I'm sure there's like a ton of nuance in there. Exactly. And a new working paper came out last month from the University of California, Davis. And the authors of this paper found that immigration over the last couple of decades actually increased the wages of less educated Americans who were born here. Wages for these Americans who had completed high school or less increased about 2%, give or take. Oh, that's interesting because I have heard the opposite come out of some other studies. Some papers show slight decreases in local wages, but if you take the average of the literature, there's not much effect either way. And by the way, the writers of this paper at hand didn't find much of an increase or decrease for American-born workers with a college degree. But why do they actually think wages rose for less educated Americans? The basic intuition here is that since 2000, immigrants to the U.S. have been increasingly college educated. So their salaries haven't been much affected, but the skills they bring in can help American companies expand, which in turn means they may end up needing more shipping or catering or cleaning, jobs that hire more native-born Americans without college degrees, and that can push up their wages. And that could, uh, yeah, that could be a good thing also for work workers who are seeing wages maybe grow slightly slower than they used to, like we saw in today's jobs report. Another Jobs Friday in the bag. And that's it for Jobs (laughs) Friday. Uh, Let's hear that ambivalent air horn one more time, please. Ambivalent air horn? That's the name of my band. (laughs) (laughs) Not too hot, not too cold. Just right. The Goldilocks air horn. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam,